What's up guys, Justin here with thesketchupessentials.com back with another SketchUp and Flowify tutorial for you. So it's been a while since I've done a Flowify tutorial and I wanted to talk about how you can use this extension in order to bend text along a curved surface inside of SketchUp. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so I will link to Flowify in the notes down below. If you remember, Flowify is a free extension for SketchUp that allows you to take objects and bend them along a shape. And so what we're going to do is we're going to talk about a couple different ways that we can bend some text along this grip right here. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add some text using the 3D text tool. So we're just going to add text and we'll just call it the word grip for right now. And we'll go ahead and place this right here. And I'm going to go ahead and scale it up. So it's a little bit bigger. So that it kind of fits along. So that it's got kind of the size of this shape right here, so we may scale it up just a little bit more, just like this. And I'm gonna go ahead and stand it up just for ease of use um, using the rotate tool. So we're gonna stand this up, we're gonna call this good. All right, and so with Flowify, if you remember, what you need is you need a base face, you need a pair of lines, and you need a target face. Your, your base face is basically gonna be your geometry that you're gonna place this object on, and then your target face is gonna be the face that you're gonna bend this along. And so what we need to do is we need to come in here and we need to do two things. So we need to start by drawing a rectangle right here. So I'm just gonna draw a rectangle right here, and then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna scale that out. And one thing that's gonna be really important about this if you want it to work properly is you wanna make sure that this is only made up of five objects. So if you were to draw like multiple different edges and stuff in here, it wouldn't work very well. This needs to be a shape. Um, and if you double click on it, you can see how it has five entities, but it needs to be a shape that's only made up of four edges and a face. If it's made up that with more than that, this isn't going to work. But we're gonna take this whole thing, we're gonna make it a group. Then over here, we're gonna take this object and right now we can't bend this along this object because this object is not, it doesn't have four corners. And so what we wanna do is we wanna come in here and we wanna draw a line across here. Then we wanna draw a line across here. And basically what we're doing is we're splitting this object up into a face that has four corners. So one, two, three, four. Then we're just gonna take this, double click on it, right click and make it a group. So now we have our base group over here, we have our target group over here. And I'm gonna go in here and just reverse the faces real quick and then I'm just gonna draw edges between this corner and this corner and this corner and this corner, just like this. And then we're gonna take these two edges and we're gonna put them in a group. Then we're gonna take all three of these and put them in a group. If you don't set this grouping up exactly like this, it's not going to work and you're gonna get an error message. But the way that you can test that is you can go into extensions under Flowify and click on the option for impose grid. And so if everything is set up properly, you'll get a grid along this base face right here showing you that Flowify understands how we wanna break this object up. And so then, once we do that, all we need to do is just select this group of three groups and select this other object right here. And then under extensions, we just wanna run Flowify. So you can see how what that's gonna do is that's gonna go through and that's basically gonna slice this piece of text and uh, bend it along this face. And so we could adjust this too. So if I was to undo this, for example, and let's say maybe I wanted to make this a little bit narrower. maybe a little bit smaller. So we're gonna move it this way, and this way, and then we could run it again. So I'm just gonna run this. And you can see how that allows me to bend the text along this face. And so let's say, for example, that we wanted to split this up, but we wanted to split it up along three faces instead of two. So the way that we could do that is we could take a look at our um, shape right here. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna use my protractor tool in order to do this. But with the protractor tool, we can figure out where 120 degrees is. So we could set maybe a base point right here. And then type in a value of 120 degrees. And then we could split this up into three faces instead of four. So if I was to draw a line across this face like this, draw a line across here like this, 
And then we could go ahead and we could take this and use the move tool and copy to make another copy at 120 degrees, just like this. Well, now what we've done, and we can erase out these protractors, but now what we've done is we've split this up into three faces. And so if we were to run Flowify, we would take one of these faces, and sometimes you need to draw a line in here to split these edges, like this. So it doesn't always work 100% where it just splits these out the way they need to be. But you can see how I basically took an edge in here. And I used that to split this object. And notice how one of our edges right here got exploded off of this. It gets kind of weird sometimes. Um, what you need to do is you need to come in here and use the weld extension to weld this so that you only have one line across here. You can weld this just like this. Then I'm going to take this, double click on it, and make it a group. So now I have this four-sided edge in here again. And so again, we could just take the word grip and use the move tool in copy mode to make a copy over here. I'm going to make that a little bit smaller. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to draw a base face over here, reverse it. And we're just going to do the same thing that we did before, where we're going to make this a group. We'll draw our target lines, put those in a group, then we'll put these three objects in a group like this. So now you should be able to come in here and impose your grid just like this. And as long as that works, you can take this and you can bend it along your object just like this. And then you could just take that and you could just use the rotate tool in copy mode. We'll type in 120 degrees and we'll type in times two in order to create two copies of this. So you can see how I'm able to quickly and easily bend text along this face, just like this. And then let's say that we wanted this to be smooth. So let's say that we didn't want this extra geometry in here. You could just go into your soften edges function and you could just use the little slider in order to soften most of these edges. Make sure you check the box for soften coplanar as well. So that way you don't have all this additional geometry in here showing up and this looks like smooth text. So that's where I'm going to end this video. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought. Was this helpful to you? Have you used Flowify before? I just love having that conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it. I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.